Hey guys, so today um, we're going to look at what happens in the case if you the period's not too pi. <clears throat> um, the, the, the formulas don't really become that different, and it just really requires a change of variable to see what happens. So what I have on this handout here, um, these are the three formulas that we derive to calculate the coefficients for the Fourier series, and this is the change of variable I'm talking about. Um, so instead of t, change it to x equals 2 pi over capital P for period t. And when I say in this case, x equals pi corresponds to P, t equals capital P over 2, what I mean is substitute pi in for x here and resolve, and you get that t equals capital P over 2. And then, of course, if you do the same thing with negative pi, you get negative P over 2. Um, and so then what that means is basically that um, if you look at this as a function of of t again, the period would become is basically p because you're going here from capital P over two to negative capital P over two. That's a length of capital P, that distance. Um, and then all you have to do then is to 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 substitute two pi that that substitution uh, as well as dx equals two pi over p dt um, into the the Fourier series coefficients from above here, and you get these ones that are below. I'll clarify what I mean by this a little bit. I'll draw out just to make sure that you're clear about what that all means. Um, but it's just a change of substitution. And so if you put that all into one, again, um, summation formula, index summation formula, this is what it would look like if the period is not too pi. Compare it to what you have above. Um, it's not really that different. You just have the two pi over p um, involved in that, okay? Now, I put at the bottom here, you'll see this written out depending upon what course you're taking in the future, you'll see this written out in a couple of different ways. Um, we'll do, we'll use both, um, but in, um, in physics they use 2L, they double, they use half a period essentially, um, and then um, in um, <clears throat> physics and engineering, they use this omega, this an angular frequency. And really, that's just, there's a great, actually, if you Google, um, or angular velocity, even it's called. Um, let me see. I was looking at that yesterday. There was a good, maybe it wasn't, it was this. Can you see this? This shows you a good idea. Again, if you're not clear on this notation, um, this gives you a good idea of what what it is. Um, so the angular frequency then is you, you take the number of radians, it's radians per second essentially, um, which is they use for the speed of a rotation essentially, velocity frequency. Um, and then, so this is this is a good. If this is just the the Wikipedia article here. I saw this yesterday with the smiley face. I thought. They haven't seen that. That's a good way of understanding what that omega would be. Um, <clears throat> so we'll get to that in a second. So just you'll see that in a couple of different ways um, expressed with this. And that that expression affects whether or not, um, you know, how the formulas would look. So you can see that, like, if you're going from this idea of 2 pi over p and p is 2L, then this formula becomes 1 over L instead of 1 over 2 over P, right? And then um, instead of having on the inside here 2 pi, uh, 2 n pi T over capital P, it's just n pi T over L, right? Because uh, P equals 2 L. And then the same thing down for here, if, if capital P equals 2 pi over omega, the same kind of substitution would happen if you're using it in, a, in the if you're using the angular frequency form of what you have here. So th this this and this say exactly the same thing, just again with further substitutions depending upon um, how you're attacking the problem and really what course you're taking. It'll be different. So just that's another FYI um, with that. And so any when I say here that any convenient integration range or length can be used. B and N, B sub N would be found exactly the same as the, as the A sub N formulas would appear with just the same substitutions in here. 
And then you can read through here, again, why sometimes you'll see the constant term um, being written as uh, a naught over two. A naught over two would be just so that you can index it. You can read through that, but just so that you can index it with the other cosines with the a sub n formulas in there. It's not always written in that way. It's really, again, just the location of the um, sinusoidal axis or the axis of symmetry of the periodic function, which we'll see in our um, example again. Okay, so the formulas are just a little bit different depending upon if the period is not 2 pi. In the example that I have here, I have a sawtooth wave um, function peri um, defined piecewise like this with a period of 4, as you can see. Um, the constant term, since the range goes from 0 to 2, this is the translation up of the axis. So the constant term is going to be just 1. The period is 4 is given by this and the picture. And so then if you're going to use the math notation of P equals 2L, L equals 2. And that's how I solve this uh, for the Fourier co coefficients here. So using the, uh, using, let me go back to it using this formula, of this form of it here, okay? And so you'll see what this ends up doing when you first start solving for the A sub N terms the, um, that you're going to end up with integration by parts. So you have to integrate piecewise again. This is nice because shifting this up, the X up to 1, enables the bottom of the sawtooth to be at zero from negative two to zero. So your first integral you don't have to do. You only have to do the t integral here um, from zero to two. And so coming down here, that's the formula um, that we saw, right? <clears throat> one over half the period, one over two, one half, integral zero to two, t times cosine n pi t over 2, which is L again. That's substituting the 2 in for here and for here, dt, which is going to require integration by parts, which is what I've shown you here. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. If you missed calculus, it's kind of back for now. Um, so uv minus integral v du. Here's your u, du is dt. Here's your dv. Integrate that. Pull out the constants, integral of cosine is sine, and you're ready to go follow, substitute those into this formula. So um, the one half on the outside, this is u times v, right? Minus pulling out the constant integral v du, okay? Um, carefully, 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 you can look through the the out the arithmetic here, really, in algebra here with this. Um, <clears throat> what you see is the only time to be careful is this is a periodic function at the end here. And so you're substituting, again, n or integer values. So cosine n pi, it's either going to be pi or 2 pi or 3 pi or 4 pi. This oscillates back and forth between 1 and negative 1. So basically, if it's odd... In other words, the cosine of pi is negative 1, but the cosine of 2 pi is positive 1. So it's going to be 0 at every even 1 because you're going to have 1 minus 1. And then it's always going to be, um, you're going to be, ha you're, it's going to be negative 1. Um, I'm sorry, negative 2, rather, at any um, uh, odd version of it because you're going to have negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2 times this down here if it's odd. So depending upon um, the oscillation, it's going to change. When you go to do that down here, it's another integration by parts with the sign. It doesn't all cancel out. Okay. Again, here's the integration by parts. Um, this time, it's not 0 all the time. Again, the careful part, I think, just to remember is the trig here, because when it's not 0 at the bottom, um, you're going to have, depending upon the, the, the integer value, once again, right, the cosine of pi is sometimes, um, it's either 1 or negative 1. And so the 1 half makes this 2 or negative 2 over n pi, depending upon the value of whether it's 1 or negative 1 with that. 
putting it all together it doesn't look so pretty but that is the Fourier series for that sawtooth wave with a period of not too pi. Okay, so I'm going to try to schedule a hangout and um, we'll go over any questions that you have with that.